Alright guys, so we are working on homework 5.5 and this is day 2 of solving polynomial equations. We're going to take our pencil and annotate the instructions. One solution is given for the equation. Use this solution to factor and solve the polynomial for the additional solution. So this is a solution and we need to make it into a factor. To be able to do that, we're going to say that x equals negative 1. We want to set it equal to 0, so we're going to add 1 to both sides. So now you have negative 1 plus 1 equals 0. That's good. And then you have your factor, x plus 1. You're going to take your factor and divide by this equation. So x plus 1 divided by x cubed minus 10x squared plus 19x plus 30. Okay. So I'm going to start off with an x squared because x squared multiplied by x is x cubed. And I also have to distribute to this positive one here. So x squared times 1 is just x squared. And then we'll subtract. x cubed minus x cubed cancels negative 10 minus x squared, so this positive sign becomes negative. Negative 10 minus 1x squared is negative 11x squared. Now you can bring down your plus 19x. The next step you want to take is to copy this negative 11 up here. And then I have an x squared. I already have an x, so if I just multiply by x, negative 11x times x is negative 11x squared. Negative 11x times 1 is negative 11x. Again, you're going to subtract. When you do that, you distribute this negative sign here and here, so they both become positive. That's a good thing here. This cancels negative 11 and positive 11. And then over here, we have 9 plus 1, and then we also have the the rest of our tens place. So this is going to be positive 30x plus 30. And we can see if I just write this number up here, 30 times x is 30x, and 30 times 1 is 30. When I go to subtract, again, subtract here and here, that will cancel to 0. And this means that x plus 1 is a factor. That's a good thing. To find the rest of the zeros, what I'll need to do is actually take this quotient and factor it as well. So I'm going to have x plus 1, which is this x plus 1 here, as well as x squared minus 11x plus 30, and then again, that will equal 0. Now all I need to do is factor this last trinomial. 30 can split into a bunch of different terms. The factors like 1 and 30, 2 and 15, maybe 3 and 10, but none of those will add up to give me 11. But if I use 5 times 6, 5 times 6 is 30, and if they are both negative, negative 5 minus 6 will give me minus 11. So I'm going to try to add and subtract here in the middle, and I'm trying to multiply here on the end. So I'm multiplying 5 times 6 to get 30, and then I'm going to subtract negative 5 and negative 6 to get this negative 11. If that all works out, and this does, that means that negative 5 and negative 6 will be factors of this trinomial. So just write that in the grouping. x minus 5, there's my minus 5, and then x minus 6, there's my minus 6. Don't forget to bring down the x plus 1. That's going to equal 0, and these are your factors, so now we can write our roots. Your zeros or your roots, the solution will be x equals negative 1, x equals positive 5, and then x equals positive 6.
six. You have three solutions, so one good idea is to check and make sure if you have three solutions, you should have a leading exponent of three. So next we'll work on number 32. Number 32 gives you a solution of x equals 3. To make it into a factor, it will be x minus 3 equals 0. So you want to divide your factor by your polynomial. x minus 3 divided by 3x cubed plus x squared minus 38x plus 24. So I'm going to multiply 3x squared times x. 3x squared times x is 3x cubed. 3x squared times negative 3 is negative 9x squared. When you subtract, you're going to change all of the signs. This becomes negative. This becomes positive. That cancels out. 3x cubed minus 3x cubed is 0. And then 9x squared plus x squared is 10x squared. You're going to bring down your negative 38x and then multiply, excuse me, again, add a 10x up here. 10x times x is 10x squared. 10x times negative 3 is negative 30x. When you subtract, you can switch your signs. And you've got 10 minus 10x squared is cancels. And negative 38 plus 30x is going to give you negative 8x. Bring down your 24. Minus 8 times x is minus 8x, negative 8x. And then you have negative 8 times negative 3, which is positive 24. When you subtract, you can switch all of your signs. This cancels to 0. This cancels to 0. You have a remainder of 0, which means that x minus 3 is a real factor. It's a true factor. So you're going to take your x minus 3 factor, and I'll write it right over here, x minus 3. And then you're going to multiply that by your quotient here. So this is 3x squared plus 10x minus 8. All of that will equal 0. A problem that I run into when I go to factor this, I realize that this leading coefficient of 3 will not allow me to factor it like I factored 27. So I'm going to have to use the quadratic formula here. This is negative b plus and minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. All of that will be divided by 2a. And what you're going to do is take um, a, b, and c and substitute into your equation. So we will say negative 10 plus or minus the square root of 10 squared minus 4 times 3 times negative 8. Make sure that the sign of the coefficient comes into the formula. And then all of that will be divided by 2a. Good. Now let's simplify and see what we get. 10 squared is 100. So we'll write out 100. 4 times 8 is 32. 32 times 3 is going to be 96. A negative times a negative is a positive, so just write positive 196. 100 plus 96, that equals 196, the square root of 196. And then we'll divide that by 2 times 3, which is 6. All right, to finish up this little section, remember that we still have this x minus 3 factor here. We're just working inside of this grouping. Okay. This simplifies really quickly for us. It goes to negative 10 plus or minus the square root of 196 is 14, and then divided by 6. So here you're going to have two different roots that come out of that. And that's good because you have the first root here, the second root will be here, and then the third root will be here. You need three roots because you have a cubic function here. Negative 10 plus 14, negative 10 plus 14, divided by 6 and then we'll have negative 10 minus 14 divided by 6. So negative 10 plus 14 is 4 
divided by 6. This equals 2 thirds when you simplify. So x equals 2 thirds. And then over here, negative 10 minus 14 is negative 24. Divided by 6, that equals negative 4. So we have a solution of x equals 3, x equals 2 thirds, and x equals negative 4. I'm going to write that out over here off to the side. x equals 2 thirds, x equals negative 4, and x equals 3. And those are my three solutions for my cubic on number 32. For number 42, we'll start with the roots. We'll work to factors and then we'll put together through multiplication the actual polynomial. So the roots are x equals negative 4, x equals negative 2, and x equals 5. From here we put into factors x minus 4, x plus 2, x minus 5. This is x plus 4, x plus 2, x minus 5, and it has to equal 0. All we're going to do now is multiply x plus 4 times x plus 2. Use the FOIL method, or if you'd like a visual, you can use the box method. x times x is x squared. 4 times x is 4x. x times 2 is 2x. 4 times 2 is 8. Adding up on the diagonal, you have x squared plus 6x plus 8. You still need to make sure you multiply this factor as well, so that's x minus 5. If you still want another visual, you can do the box method. x squared times x is x cubed. 6x times x is 6x squared. 8 times x is 8x x squared times negative 5 is negative 5x squared. 6x times negative 5 is negative 30x. And 8 times negative 5 is negative 40. So now let's add up the box. And you have x cubed plus 1x squared minus 24x. minus 22x and then minus 40 and then we'll name our function f at x equals x cubed plus x squared minus 22x minus 40 you can box that in the very last example that I'll go through is number 28 the solution is x equals 3, so the factor is x minus 3. When you write your grouping over off to the side, write x minus 3 to divide by your polynomial x cubed plus 4x squared minus 11x minus 30. You're going to do an x squared multiplied by x to get your x cubed, and x squared times negative 3 is negative 3x squared. When you subtract, you can just change all of the signs, and that's going to cancel the first term, and it will give you 7x squared. Now you can bring down your negative 11x, and go ahead and write a 7 and an x at the top. 7x times x is 7x squared. 7x times negative 3 is negative 21x. To subtract, you can just change all of the signs here, and you're going to get 7x squared minus x squared cancels. 21 minus 11 is 10x. Now you can bring down your negative 30, and you can put plus 10 up here. 10 times x is 10x. 10 times negative 3 is negative 30. When you subtract, you say change all the signs, and this means that this is a true factor because you have a remainder of zero. 
Now you can factor 